Hey, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode right here at Mike's Mars and Customs. I hope you're about to enjoy what I got to show you here on this video. Grab yourself a beverage and a nice comfortable seat and enjoy the show. Welcome back to another episode. Sorry about that background noise. Right here at Mike's Mars and Customs. We got some mail call to show you guys today. Um, got some shop card or a shop card in the mail. And uh, some really cool parts for an upcoming project that I'm super excited about. So let's start with uh, the shop card. I got uh, I got this in the mail here from uh, oh can we see there we go Mars Garage. So let's check this out. We got super cool. Oh, we got two. So there's Mars Garage shop card. Rats, rods, customs, and rust. So if you haven't checked this guy out yet, get on over there to Mars Garage right here on YouTube and check out his channel. You want to get some weathering ideas and weathering tips? This guy's got it going on. Um, he's actually doing a, his first uh, group build right now. It's uh, titled the Rust Bucket Challenge, which I am planning on entering. I just have no clue what I'm going to do just yet. So I got to uh, got to get to working on that. And uh, this is a decal. This is a sticker. So super cool. That's uh, this is going to go up on the wall up there with the rest of my shop cards I got. Thank you very much, Mars. I know I sent you a channel sticker or two. Um, I think, I hope you got a full-size one. This is one of the smaller ones that I have now, but I am currently working on a design for a shop card for myself here at Mike's Mods and Custom. So this here came from, what did I say? Competition resins, that's where this one came from. Um, these should be my uh, cowl induction hoods. So I ordered a couple of different sizes, and uh, I'm actually glad I did because this one here, I think it's going to be way too small. If I was prepared, I would have grabbed the hood. Okay, I got the hood. So, yeah, this one here, width-wise, it's okay, but I just don't think it's going to be the look that I'm looking for for the Connell induction that I want on this hood. Um, I'll show you the other one real quick. I don't want to make this a super long video. This one, with some work, of course, I think that's going to give me the look I'm after for the Connell induction hood on this baby. Um, this model kit is going to give me quite a bit of work to do anyways, so what the heck. Let's add some customizing of a hood. This is not the hood exactly, the hood that I'm going to put this on. Um, I'm going to put it on the other hood that's got a huge uh, scoop on it already that I think is ugly as heck. And what am I doing? That don't belong in there. This belongs in there. So that's for the street machine build. The challenge that's going on from Jason over at Blue Ox Models. Um, that's a group build that I'm coming that I'm entered into. So what we have here, this sin is not a 3D part. Uh, let's see. I should have cut this stuff open earlier, but I didn't even get that far. Okay. This is why you cut things open before you do a video. <laughs> there we go. Yes, so this is the other truck that I needed for the 53rd anniversary edition. This one being the 62 Chevy pickup truck. So that's going to go up above with my collection up there. And I almost got all the collections complete. This one. This one came from the Iceman. Iceman Collections. Um, first time placing an order with him. It was an exceptional experience. Had no issues. Super fast shipping. Excellent tracking. Um, I, I can't wait to order some more stuff. So what we should have here is going to be uh, the engine for that street machine build. The potentially wheels and tires for that street machine build. Haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with wheels and tires. And 
I bought these to have for diorama style displaying of models when they're done. Um, so this is the first time me dealing with any kind of resin printed stuff. Uh, I've dealt with uh, regular 3D filament printing but not resin so these here are jack stands. There's four that are in the higher position and four that are in the lower position. The plan is to be able to um, put these under a car and have the car tilted at an angle on top of a mirror so you can see the underneath detail. That's the plan for those. So we'll have to cut them off their little sprues there, get them detailed up and painted. So that's the jack stands. And a set of wheels and tires that I got for the street machine build. And it looks like they may be yeah, so this was this is cool. I wasn't expecting it like this. They're already kinda like assembled. That's cool. So I went with um like a traditional style BF Goodrich tire. I don't know that you can see any of that detail. It says BF Goodrich on the side of it. Maybe we can see it on the fatter ones. The tread is the tread is there, the tread is phenomenal. Um and on the sidewall here it says it right there BF Goodrich Radial TA I don't know if you guys can see that the lighting is not that great here but uh, yeah super cool and then the uh, the wheels I went with I'm not so sure yeah there we go it gives it a nice deep dish American Racing Real Krager SS wheel style look I mean, uh, there we go. So, I haven't 100% decided if these are exactly what I'm going to use on this street machine or not. We're going to see how things go with the, the mock-up as, uh, as we get there. And the next piece I'm super excited for. I'm really intrigued to see. You know, you look at the pictures online and everything, and everything seems so much bigger. Oh, sweet. Iceman Collection sticker. I really need to get another board for my stickers because I'm running out of room on this workbench one I'm working on. Alright, so this is a 572 big block engine. And it comes with a comes with a serpentine belt. Is that crazy? But check this out. 124th, 125th scale. Resin printed, 572, says it right there on the valve cover, 572 big block with the headers, air cleaner, the dual carb intake with the distributor, there's my heads, Head, uh, valve covers, full transmission, or I could do a single carburetor deal by the looks of it, because I got, there's a dual carburetor there and a single carburetor there with the single carb air cleaner or the dual carb air cleaner oil pan this is so freaking cool I'm excited to break into this and start uh, cleaning it up and putting it together so this is the build I'm working on that I say is uh, most definitely gonna take me the remainder of this calendar year to finish and this right here is part of the reason why all brand new to me, never worked with any of this stuff before. So I'm going to be taking my time. Uh, I'm going to play with those jack stands first to get my feet wet with what I got to do to work with uh, with resin. Um, see what if I have to do anything special or different with paint, what I'm going to paint it with. So yeah, there we go. I'll have links in the description down below to all of these guys. Iceman Collections. Mars Garage and the other one that I've already put away I forgot where it went <laughs> uh, right here competition resins I'll have links in the description for all of these guys as well as blue ox models for the muscle car build challenge strip machine sorry strip machine build challenge um, so yeah that's it that's all I got I've rattled on and long enough. Um, 
yeah, check these guys out if you're looking for any of this stuff. Iceman does do primarily 124th, 125th scale stuff. The competition resins, I don't recall on their site if I've seen 164th scale stuff or not, but another great avenue. Looks like a really good quality product. All right, guys, that's all I got. Thanks for hanging out. Have a great night. We'll catch you on the next one. And thanks for joining me here for another episode here at Mike's Mars and Customs. If you really like what you see here, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and maybe even share it along to a couple of friends of yours. Once again, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you on the next one.